Hey, um, so this is just going to be a video to show, um, some of the, some of the different objects in, of uh, my project. And so let's just start out with the menu. In the menu we have one interesting game object, and that's the GUI controller. And the GUI controller, um, just controls all the connection, disconnection, server creation, and it also controls about 90% of the GUI. Um, it doesn't get destroyed on load, but if it gets uh, reloaded in the menu, it tests to see if it got reloaded in the menu, and then it destroys itself. And we do that so that the we don't wind up with multiple instances of GUI controller. Then uh, in level one, we have a couple interesting objects. We have the chat, and the chat has just a chat box script and that this uh, game object just uh, controls the GUI, the chat and sending uh, chat messages across the network and things like that. We have the death collider object and it's just a uh, it's just a collider and it uh, doesn't do any detection of itself but it does have the tag death collider and whenever the player uh, touches a new object it tests to see if the tag is equal to death collider, and if it is, it destroys itself. We uh, have just a directional light. Um, then we have the health spawns, and these are all the spawn points that the um, that the health bubble can be at. And each one has the tag health spawn. Then we have the respawns, and these are all the spawns that the player can be at. And so, um, then we have a score object, and the score just uh, makes the GUI for the different scores for the different players. We have a spawn object. The spawn object um, is the one that actually will spawn the player and the health bubble if needed. It has the spawn script. We also have um, our floating platforms, and in the floating platforms, we have the floating platform script. And it's not synchronized across the network, and the reason why is um, it's just a special effect. It doesn't actually change the gameplay at all, and so there is no need to uh, synchronize it across the network. Um, then we have over here our health bubble and the health bubble has the offset mover um, which just makes it look like the bubble is sort of the texture is going down but then we have our health bubble script and this just controls um, pretty much all the elements of the health bubble and then we have a network view um, which uh, is used for the RPC calls and also synchronizes the health bubble's position. Then we have the missile script or uh, object and in the missile object we have the bullet script and the bullet script will uh, make it so it goes forward and it'll explode on impact with something. Um, and so then we also have the cube object of the missile and this is just the mesh and we have the material set to tune basic outline and the main color is black with um, an outline color of red it doesn't have any textures so you get kind of an interesting effect we also have our player object and the player object has the offset mover um, it has the mouse look uh, for the mouse x-axis and the camera has the mouse y-axis um, we have the movement controller we have a constant force we have a network view to uh, synchronize the position we have an on player made script which is uh, used for the player initialization we have a gun controller script um, we have a death collider detector which is the one that detects a uh, collision with the death collider and then we have the missile hit 
detector, and that detects uh, that detects collision with a missile. Then we have our player data object, which um, just um, it just has the player data script in the network view, and it will synchronize uh, certain information like uh, what the score of this character is and um, also what the name of this character is and what is the ID of this character, and so it synchronizes all of that across the network. Um, and that is uh, pretty much it for uh, the level one. And um, I'll be covering all the scripts and stuff later. And so, um, hope you enjoyed.